Yeah, because then what I do too is what you do, what you have to do though, before you file a lawsuit, you have to do a fair warning. So you give them a, a six six lines in your fair warning. And um, you know, I'll, I'll find it real quick. But ask if you got another question, ask, and I'll find it real quick for you with a fair warning. But the fair warning is so simple, it's scary. Yeah, because if you look back in the 1990s, especially since you're in Amarillo, you could read probably in your local newspapers that uh, free men of uh, like Montana people were flooding the Texas courts with liens on the court personnel. So that's why they're very hesitant to do anything for you folks anymore because they're just like, what we dealt with you guys 15, 20 years ago, we're done. We're done. So like I said, the simple thing, the fair warning thing, I give everybody. Is like I said, mm-hmm. it's, it's, it's simple. I'll read it real quick because it's simple. I and then you make your name, gave no entity the right to administrate my property. So it's like, I, whatever your name is, Bob Johnson, gave no entity, you know, known as the DHR, the right to administrate my property. So little old ladies like this, then they're trying to get their grandkids back from, like, CPS. So this is how I sent it to some lady. But you could use it for a car. You could use it for a tow truck, you know, tow your car away. You could do it for anything. You just say, I, Bob Johnson, gave no entity the right to administrate my property. Number two, I say that, you know, Baby Johnson is my property. This is what I was doing with little old ladies. I say that blank is my property. Number three, I say that no man or woman will make a claim saying my claim is untrue. Number four, I want my property returned to me. There you go. Number five, said properties to be totally under my control, post haste, you know, within three days, whatever time limit you want to give them. And then number six, it just says I will charge the wrongful holder of said property X amount of dollars for every, you know, whatever you want to do, every minute, every day, said property is not returned, starting on the 22nd day after they've received this summons and this suit, uh, you know, see attached claim. So it's simple. You just make it simple. You just say, I give nobody the right to administrate my property. Number two, I say that's my property. Number three, nobody, no man or woman is going to come in open court and claim that my claim is untrue. Four, I want my property returned to me. Five, I want it done in like two days or less. And six, I'm going to start charging you money. 20, because you, you're supposed to give them 21 days to answer a lawsuit. So on day 22, I'm going to start charging you because within that 21 days, they, they, it gives them the opportunity to try to make a settlement with you on a private side. And the 21 so that, days gives them time to make a settlement? Right. It gives, them, it gives them you know time to make a settlement with you on a private side. So then day 22, you're going to start charging them. Okay. Uh, you'll see in court. And you're going to move it, you're going to move it before a, a, a trial by jury. And you're going to get you back. Boy, I mean, they get tough down here. They're rough. I mean, they won't accept any paperwork or anything. I mean, that you can hardly even. That's why you, know, you send. You can't believe nothing that these guys say. You know. Well, that's why you got to make it incredibly simple.